eye on NPI. Now, we did a good job with getting the word out about some new products that even we don't make. So boy, this is perfect. This was good. So this week's eye on NPI, this is new product introduction. This means there's something super cool that Lady Ada wants to talk about that is on our friend site, DigiKey. Um, and sometimes it's companies we know. This week it's Nordic. Nordic, which we love their Bluetooth chips. We've been using, well, we started the NRF 8001. We've been using, um, well, NRF L01 uh, as well. We've been using the NRF 51 uh, Bluetooth chip, which had a Cortex M0, then the NRF 52832, which had a Cortex M4, and then recently the NRF 52840, which has not only a Cortex M4, but also USB, which is like what powers the Clue, Circuit Playground Bluefruit, and our Feather uh, Bluefruit 840. And they've come up with a new chipset, and this is very new, the NRF 5340. Okay, so we started with 51, then 52, now it's 53. Okay, so it's three times better. Okay, so what's- That makes sense. What's new with the NRF 5340? I'm going to keep, if I slip the 8 in by accident, it's because I keep saying NRF 52840. So 5340, um, it's a Bluetooth chip and it has two cores in it, two um, ARM Cortex M33s. And they recommend one runs at 64 megahertz, one runs at 128 megahertz. And basically, instead of um, what you deal with with the NRF 51 and 52, where you have one process, uh, processor that has to jump to the soft device to do Bluetooth and radio and authentication, and then it jumps back to your user code, which is, is okay, but sometimes you know your user code can get interrupted to do um, Bluetooth tasks. What you can do now with this is you have two processors. One can be dedicated solely to handling any Bluetooth or thread, or Zigbee, wireless communications, authentication, data transfer, buffering, all that good stuff. And then another processor is just for your user interaction or you know, any uh, processing that you need to do with data. Um, so it's a very powerful processor. I think it's like a megabyte of flash, like 256K of RAM or something, but again, much higher speed uh, M33 Cortex processor. And you get two of them. And of course it's uh, Bluetooth 5, so it's got all the latest um, stuff in it. It's got thread support, it's got Zigbee, 2.4 gigahertz radio. So it's, it's kind of the next generation. It's so new, it even, it, there's warnings on the pages that like, hey, this is not ready for everyone to use in product. This is engineering samples, yeah. um, uh, pre-development kit. If you want to get it, go to digigear.com and search for NRF5340. Yeah, That'll get you going. And I'll tell you, if you really want to get started fast, you go to the overhead, I'll show the dev kit, which I picked up. I really like the Nordic dev kits. These are very well-designed dev kits. Why? Because they come with a Seger J-Link built in. There's even like a logo on the back or something. Yeah, bing. So they licensed the Seger J-Link. So you've got programming and debugging built in. It's got this like Arduino Uno compatible uh, breakout area over here. Um, it's got power source uh, selection. It's got a uh, coin holder so you can do like low power stuff. It's got this really nice documentation silk screen. And then over here, the chip, um, it's got this little port that you can use for um, measuring uh, efficiency of the uh, antenna and radio. QSPY, a couple buttons, not too much. I like that they didn't just pile on all the extras. It's, it's very basic, but enough to get you going. Uh, boot reset, and then uh, even comes a little N NRF antenna. This is um, not for reading NRF devices. This is for, it acts as an NRF like tag to, to, to get paired with. And then um, here's the chip. And yeah, they have this like AQFN package. It's actually not so bad. I was a little scared of working with this package because of all those inner dots, but it actually turns out like if you follow their um, really good um, hardware design guide, um, they tell you exactly how to lay out your board to get a really good response. And when you're ready to go manufacture, post on the Nordic um, uh, user support board. You can even do private posts and they'll review your design. They did that for us and they found a couple places that we could improve our design. So you want the next generation Bluetooth chipsets? Check out the NRF5340. And get it from digi.com. Digi. I on NPI.